Welcome to a new country. We have officially made it to beautiful Portugal and we are starting our journey in none other than at Southern Tiv, starting with Faro. to take a boat to the islands that are right here in this place is incredibly popular for its sea life for its conservatories and that is gonna be our first stop let's go <laughs> <laughs> My hands are shaking and we're about to take off here in a minute. Yeah, so Faro is actually located inland from the islands uh, and there's a small canal and marshes that kind of separate it. So we kind of boarded a little fast boat, kind of we did in uh, Cañón Sumidero in Mexico. Yep. Uh, and we're going to go down the little canal to the very first island. First island, Ila de Cerda, and we are waiting to get off. We are literally just standing on the side. I'm about to hop on on some really narrow steps. Let's go. All right, so we are going to do our next adventure here at Isla de Cerda, yes. and we're gonna take the trail. Yeah, the little trail. I think we're gonna go and try to see some birds. Yeah, try to see some more birds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's amazing. It's definitely a great place to do it. They have a lot of PhD and graduate students here for the very same thing. So I think we're in the right place to do this activity. Yes. A trail for a little bit and I had to say the fauna the birds just seeing the changes in the currents I am amazed at how beautiful and how interesting this place truly is I can honestly see what you have six universities with ocean sciences right here because this place is incredibly incredibly special been your favorite bird so far man that is a really really tough to answer I feel like they each have something that makes them so beautifully unique yeah yeah so I don't know I think I'm just enjoying myself and enjoying the experience of looking at this beautiful species and how they thrive despite having the airport so close by yeah that is sad there's an airport such a close proximity but like our tour guy was saying that they've kind of like uh, learned to adapt with it mm. and they're still here 
Yeah, they have, which, you know, it's it's incredible. Just All right, we had an amazing time just going through the trails, bird watching, being very quiet to make sure that we didn't disturb the nature around us. It is truly amazing to be in this little place right here. But as amazing as it was, there's two more islands that need to be discovered, and that is where we're gonna head now. So let's go. Now this right here, it's named because of the lighthouse and it's incredibly peaceful, especially this time of year where you will hardly see any tourists in there and mostly locals just going on about their daily lives. and this is actually a fisherman's town and when you are island hopping this right here is where you come to eat if you're smart so we're gonna go grub <laughs> restaurant that we fancy the most yes there's not a <laughs> lot here on this island maybe like four or five of them so it makes the uh, decision making a, a lot easier a little easier <laughs> but i think we found one i think so and our current host has said that everything here really is good yeah. so it's really our pick That was an incredibly good lunch. And to be honest, I could really take a nap, but I still have to explore a little bit and continue to go on about the day because I can't just drink wine and sleep, you know? You could. <laughs> Actually, that would be really nice. <laughs> no, but no, seriously, I can't. We are now 
now walking through this little village town where time seems to just stand still. Everybody is just chatting, enjoying their neighbors, and honestly, just waiting out the day, hanging out, and it's and it's an awakening to just see how much they truly, truly enjoy just sitting around and people watching. I personally think that that is quite lovely. Well, this Fisher's Town really has lived up to its reputation and I wanted to make sure that I came to this very spot to watch all the birds and to just soak in all the ambience that this place has to offer. Truly, the people that live here have extraordinary lives. And with that said, everybody in this island is trying to share one message and one message alone and that is to save their ecosystem to keep it safe and more than anything to not disrupt it so we're gonna take that to heart with an incredible lesson that we have learned now it's time for me to get going because i have a feeling my boat is over there and it's about to leave me so let's go conservation effort hogs the bird watching the food honestly it, it is an incredible place but I have to say that now I'm ready for my adventure here in this beautiful city and I am so overjoyed to explore it if you like to see a video on this city and what this city has to offer I want to make sure that you make sure to click on that video and that you take a little bit of time to watch what this city has to offer thank you for coming along with us on this journey today if you like to see more content please make sure to subscribe like and don't forget to click that little bell and i will see you guys next time Your sacrifice was well worth it. We I thank you for it. I can't it. help it. I feel so bad. Uh.